Okay, so good day and uh, once again, Happy New Year to each and everyone. <clears throat> so for today, we're going to discuss about the referencing style. No? <clears throat> a referenc uh, referencing style is a standardized method for citing and acknowledging resources used in academic and scholarly, scholarly writing. <clears throat> so it provides a set of rules and guidelines to uh, ensure consistency and traceability of information, <clears throat> allowing readers not to locate and verify the sources referenced by an author. So different discipline and academic institutions often adopt a specific referencing style, katulad ng APA or yung American Psychological Association, MLA, yun yung Modern Language Association, and of course, IEEE for IT no, or ACM. Each referencing no, style uh, has its unique format for citing various sources, including books, articles, websites, uh, journals, and other types of publications. So in text citation, uh, in bibliographic entries, followed a predetermined structure, enabling readers to easily identify and locate the original work cited. So consistent application of a referencing style not only enhances the clarity and professionalism of academic writing, but also reflects a commitment to academic integrity by giving credit to the creators of the information's use. So APAP, let's say for example, no, is widely used in the social sciences and involves parenthetical in-text citations with the author's last name and the year of publication coupled with a detailed references list of the end of the document. So MLA naman po, commonly used in humanities, no, employs parenthetical citations with the author's last name and page number with a corresponding work cited page. Uh, ACM and IEEE has also their own style no covering aspect like formatting, punctuation, and other order in information citation. So to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Go ahead. I'm Jericho James Gonzaga together with my group to report the topic all about referencing styles. So next slide, please. So here are the members of the group. First is me, Gonzaga Jericho James. And next is Amante Angelo. Next is Asko na Dominic and Tianko Lei Jazar. So next slide please. And here are the topics that will be discussed today. First is APA, ICM, IEE, and MLA. And next slide please. So first, I will be the reporters for the APA. So APA means American Psychological Association. So first bullet says what is APA? APA is the style of documentation of sources used by the American Psychological Association. This form of writing research papers is used mainly in the social sciences like psychology, anthropology, sociology, as well as education and other fields. So next is how does APA style work? When working with APA, there are two things to keep in mind. First is in-text citation and reference page. So first is in-text citations will use the author's name and the date within your research paper. The citation will refer back to the reference page at the end, which lists all the sources that you may have used in your research paper. And next is when should I have to cite a source in APA? In APA style, you are required to cite sources whenever you directly quote someone, paraphrase their ideas, or use information that is not considered common knowledge. Additionally, you should provide citation when referencing specific data, statistics, or findings from external sources. In text citations, readers, uh, in-text citations are necessary to give credit to the original authors and to allow readers to locate the sources you use. It's important to cite both print and electronic sources, including website, articles, books, and any other materials that contributed to the development of your work. Consistent and accurate citation practices not on not only uphold 
academic integrity, but also provide a trail for readers to verify and explore the information you present in your writing. So, next slide, please. So, next is here we have the APA citation examples. So, index citations. The basic elements needed for an index citation are the author's surname and publication year. Sometimes page numbers are also included, especially when quotes are mentioned in the text. Index citations are mentioned in the text in two ways, as a narrative citation or parent parenthetical citation. So, next slide, please. So, here we have the narrative citations. Narrative citations are incorporated to, into the text and act as a part of the sentence. Usually, narrative citations use the author's name in the text and the publication year is enclosed in parentheses after the name. An example of narrative citations for one author and with the page is given below. So, here we have the one author, Barbarin, open parenthesis 2013, close parenthesis, examined socio-emotional social, social learning in African boys. So, here we can see in one author, we have the author's name and the years of publication in the open close parenthesis. So, next is the two authors. In this example, we can see the two, two, two authors that were connected by their author's name with just the end word and the publication year and also in the open close parenthesis. And next here we can see the three authors. We have your three authors that were that here it is used with the et al. But example of this is the example of my name, Gonzaga et al. like that and the publication year in open close parenthesis. And if you are in the group of authors, you will just put here the name and the collaboration or the group name like that and the publication year. And if we are the if uh, if we are say, citing an author with the page, for example, here Barbarine, open parenthesis 2004, page 53 to 56, and close parenthesis. Here we can see the author's name in and the publication year in and page numbers in the open close parenthesis. So next slide, please. So the next one that we have here is the parenthetical citations. It adds the author's name and the publication year at the end of the sentence in parenthesis. So these are this is just the opposite of narrative so an example of a parenthetical citation is given below as we can see here the one author the citation here is in the end of the sentence but the way to cite to, cite, to citate is is the author's name and the years of publication is the is in the inside of, of open and close parentheses unlike the narr narrative the author's name is in the outside of open close parenthesis. So the next one is we have here the two authors. It will just be connected by the end symbol and the three in the three authors and we will just use here the et al again. Example is Bandijik et al uh, and Kama 20, 2018 and the for the group authors as I said in the nar narrative we have here the name collaboration and comma and 2018 and for the for the citation with pages we have here the Ahmed comma 20 2004 comma page 53 256 so we we will just need to use the comma to put the page so if we have if we don't know who is the author we will just need to put the nothing here comma and the publication year inside the parentheses. So that's all for my part. So thank you. Good day everyone. My name is Angelo Monte and I will discuss about ACM. ACM reference style is a set of guidelines for formatting citation and reference in academic papers published by the Associate for Computing Machinery. 
It is a widely used to computer science, information technology, and other related fields. Next is ACM citation example. ACM in text citation are placed in parentheses and include the author, last name, and publication year. For example, if you are citing a paper by Smith & Jones published in 2023, you would write Smith & Jones, 2023. ACM reference format. General instruction. A complete reference should contain the names of the authors and or editors, year of publication, the title of the article, the name of the book or the conference, conference presiding where appropriate, and the bibliographic information about the article such as the name of the publisher, the city publication, and the page number. The basic concept is that reference should be sufficiently complete so that the reader can readily find the reference and can judge the authority and the objectivity of the reference. Next is all authors' names appear as last name, comma, initial. For example, if Andy Dong is the primary author and Alice M. Agogino is the second author, the correct appearance of the author's name would be Dong, comma, A and Agogino, comma, A period M. When to use ACM format? ACM format is typically used for academic papers and articles in field of computer science and information technology. It is also used from conference presiding and technical reports. If you are unsure whether to use ACM format, consult with your inst inst instructor or publisher of journal or conference where you are submitting your work. Here in an example of ACM format citation in body of text. During high stress period, individuals should focus on the situation specific tasks rather than rely on general knowledge structures. Garcia and Howard 2000. This citation indicates that the author is citing a paper by J. Garcia and Howard published in 2000. Here is an example of an ACM format citation and reference section at the end of text. Garcia, comma, A, period, comma, and Howard comma s period 2000 thus specific knowledge and perform under stress human factors 42 and port and 2 278 to 291 hello good day everyone my topic is about the ieee referencing style but before we proceed with the discussion i'll just give you all an Heads up on how I will discuss the IEE referencing style. I'll discuss the referencing style by answering the WS questions, which is as follows. What, when, why, and who? Now let's proceed on what is IEEE. This stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. And when citing sources in IEEE styles, you typically include the author's names, title of the paper or article, title of the journal or book, publication year, volume, issue, page numbers, and the digital object identifier or DOI if this is available. The specific format may vary slightly depending on the type of sources which is as follows journal article, conference paper or book. Next next will be when was IEEE created. The IEEE or Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers was founded on January 1, 1963. However, its roots can be traced back to the American Institute of Electrical Engineers or AIEE, which was founded in 1884, and the Institute of Radio Engineers or IRE, which was established in 1912. The merger of AIEE and IRE in 1963 resulted in the formation of IEEE. Since then, 
this has grown into one of the world's largest professional associations dedicated to advancing technology and innovation. Next, after the creation of IEEE, we will proceed to the question why IEEE was created. The primary reason behind the creation of IEEE were to enhance collaboration and communications among professionals in the electrical, engineering, and electronics fields. By merging AIEE and IRE, the IEEE aimed to create a more comprehensive and unified organization that could address the broader spectrum of electrical and electronic engineering disciplines. Next is the last for WH question. Who is the creator of IEEE? The Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers was not created by a single individual but was formed through the merger of two existing organizations, the American Institute of Electrical Engineers or the AIEE and the Institute of Radio Engineers or the IRE. Next is the structure of an IEEE paper. We must always include the title and the list of authors, abstract, glossary of symbols, then number one is introduction, then the body of the text which covers the number two to four, which we don't have to tackle furthermore. Number five is the conclusions, then the acknowledgements. Appendices, references, and the photograph and biography, which usually the number of pages, figures, and tables. Next, lastly is the IEEE citation format, which focuses on the structure of the content of research paper. Firstly, you need to indicate the number which is bracketed numbers have to be placed before the start of each entry. Then the name of the author, which should be listed as first, initial, and last name of the author. After that is the page title. This is the articles that have, that have to be put in quotation marks. After the page title is the website title. It is typically a journal or book title that need to be in italics. Then the website address, then last is the assess date, which format as month, day, and year. Citation ex example of IEEE is here below. First is the bracketed number 8, then D. Dot Wilson, then the quotation mark for Aeronautics Management and Site Templates. Then the website title, which is Nevada Center Engineering Institute. Then the site. Then the last is the assess date, which is the February 14, 2018. That's all for IEEE referencing styles. Next reporter. Good day everyone. I'm Dominic Ascona and I will be discussing about the MLA referencing. Modern Language Association or MLA format is a style of crediting sources you use to write a paper. This style is typically used for research papers for English composition and other communication classes. It consists of two parts, a brief in-text citation in the body of your essay and a detailed list of works cited at the end of the work. In-text citations Use the first element of the works cited entry, which is usually the author's surname and page number or numbers in parentheses. For example, Smith 173. If the author's name appears in the body of your essay itself, 
use the relevant page numbers or number in the parentheses. Example, Smith claims that etc. etc. and then the page number 173. There is no punctuation between the author's name and the page numbers. The following is an example of an in-text citation. As you can see, it is a short paragraph that tells about a certain topic and at the bottom of it are the references which the summarization of this paragraph comes from. Works Cited Works Cited is a list of sources from which you have borrowed information or ideas. You need to acknowledge or cite all your sources. Arrange the works in alphabetical order by the first element, usually the author's surname. The elements of each entry, including the formatting and punctuation, are as follows. Omit any element which is not relevant. Format the second and the subsequent lines of each entry with a hanging index. The alphabetical arrangement is letter by letter. Example, MAC, which is spelled M-A-C, comes before MAC, is spelled M-C. Ignore any diacritical marks. Example, Example, E acute is treated the same as the letter E, or special characters. Example, for at Smith, use Smith. When deciding how to cite your source, start by consulting the list of core elements. These are the general pieces of information that MLA suggests, including in each works cited entry. In your citation, the elements should follow, should be listed in the following order. First, the author. Second, title of source. Third, title of container. Fourth, other contributors. Fifth, version. Sixth, number. Seventh, publisher. Eighth, publication date. And lastly, the location. The following are some examples of the works cited. Citation. You can see on the first Example, it started with the the author's name followed by the title of the source. Next is the the title of the container and the date where it was published. And in the last part of the first example is when what when it was accessed and that's all for our report report and that will be for uh, the end of our report hope everyone learned something from our report and thank you for listening okay uh, again uh, a referencing style is a standardized method for citing and acknowledging sources used uh, in academic and scholarly writing. No? It uh, provides a set of rules and guidelines to ensure consistency and traceability of information, allowing readers to locate and verify the sources referenced by an author. So different uh, the disciplines and academic institutions often adopt a specific referencing style. As our presenter mentioned, now we have APA, uh, <clears throat> course MLA, I triple E and ACM. So, in addition to the discussion, no, uh, <clears throat> the most commonly used reference style like APA, MLA, I, uh, uh, Chicago, no, I triple E and ACM. I triple E is widely used uh, in technical fields, no, especially electrical engineering, computer science, and information technology. So. <clears throat> It employs a numerical uh, citation style where sources are assigned a number in the order they appear in the text. In the reference list, no, these numbers are used to provide full bibliographic information for each 
source. No? High tripoli style is known for its simplicity and <clears throat> efficiency, no? allowing for clear and concise cit citation of technical documents, conference papers, and journal meetings. ACM, on the other hand, no? is a referencing style developed by the Association of Computing Machinery. It is especially or specifically designed for computer science and information technology publications. ACM kasi is utilized a parenthetical citation system similar to APA where the authors, no, a last name and the publication year are included in the in-text citation. The reference list no, at the end of the document provides <clears throat> detailed bibliographic information. So ACM uh, is open news for conference proceedings, journals, and technical reports in the computing field. So both triple E and ACM styles prioritize the clear and concise communication of technical information crucial for disciplines where precision and accuracy are paramount. No? So adhering to this style allows researchers and engineers to navigate the rapidly evolving landscape of technological literature with ease, as accessing and uh, verifying the sources reference in, uh, in academic and professional documents. So. In conclusion, <clears throat> referencing styles serve as a crucial tool in scholarly writing, facilitating proper citation and acknowledgement of sources. Their consistent applications <clears throat> ensure the transparency and reliability of academic work, no? fostering a community of scholars who respect intellectual property and contribute no, to uh, on uh, to the ongoing scholarly conversa conversation. No? Authors and researchers are advised to familiarize themselves with the specific requirements no, of the chosen referencing style <clears throat> and apply them diligently no, to upload or to uphold the highest standards of academic integrity. Both uh, IEEE and ACM styles cater specifically to the needs of the engineering and computer science communities. So familiarizing oneself with the with this style is essential for researchers and practitioners in this field to effectively communicate and contribute not to the ongoing discourses discourse in their in this respective domains. No? So if you are an IT or engineering, better for us to apply ACM and I try to So I think that's it. <laughs>